Hey guys, we're back and we have uh, chapter 11. And uh, remember what um, the lady in the rocking chair said that we can uh, use uh, the painting to uh, shift. And this is what we're going to do now. We're going to take the paintbrush and palette. And we're going to use it uh, with the canvas. The old woman, Lady Alvane, was it? She said something about using my craft to focus my powers, to learn how to open a shift at will. I guess it's worth a try. I did it! On my own, I did it! April. Oh, Mother. What's wrong with you? Touch me, April. Hmm. What's happening to you, Mother? I am dying, April. But you can't die. You're the... The Mother, the White Dragon. You're eternal. Aren't you? The Mother is, April. But I am not. It is time for the new to replace the old, for the seed to grow into a flower, and for the withered and the grey to turn to dust and pass on into the ages. Help me understand, please. Take my blue eye, the crystal. You need it. But I can't. Take it, quickly. Thank you. Please don't go. I am tired. The war with chaos has taken its toll on me. I wish I could have seen my children grow up. When will the egg hatch? When I die and turn to dust. Be here, then, to witness the new mother. I promise. Be who you are, April. Do not be afraid of that. Who am I? My daughter. My own daughter. who you are. Sister? Sister? I... I can do it now. I can shift. It's not easy, but I can do it. Ironic as it may be, though, I think I've done all I can do in Arcadia. I have the two Arcadian dragon's eye jewels, the disc, and the star map. Now I need to find the Guardian, the two missing jewels, and somebody who can help me decipher the star map. And I have to look for those things here, in Stark. Yes, we do. And now we're gonna go to uh, Flipper and um, get our fake ID. Um, because, remember, we ordered that um, some time ago. So, let's go there. Docks. Yes, uh, that is the place we have to go. Um, let's go upstairs. I'm going to use uh, the escape skip uh, function here. Let's go into the pits. Let's talk to 
the flipper. Sorry I'm late. Whoa! It's the fake ID girl. Hold on. You got it? Where you been, man? I've been holding on to this for a week now. Yeah, a week. What's the trouble? I paid up front. What's the trouble? What's the fucking trouble? The trouble is, baby, this thing's hot. It sizzles, man. They catch it with the shit on my hands, they give me 20 at least. Like you wouldn't get twice that for any of the stuff you have in here. Yeah, but that's mine, man. Mine. My problem. This here is yours. Shit, take it. I don't want it anymore. What up? That's all. Yeah, that's not all, because uh, we still need somebody to decipher that uh, star map. And who would be... Um, uh, well, I don't know what I wanted to say, but uh, Flipper would actually be s uh, suited for this kind of job. So let's give him the star map. Any chance of you deciphering this for me? <clears throat> Looks old. This old? It looks old. It's gotta be old. What do you do, rip off a museum or something? Because I'm cool with that. It was a gift. Would you be able to calculate the coordinates of that cross based on the positions of the stars? Shouldn't be a problem, as long as this thing's accurate. I'll just do some chem trace tests. See when it was made, and then figure out the rotation of the constellations and calculate the... Yeah, sure. And what's it gonna cost me? This time? You still got credit from the AG unit you gave me. Works like a fucking charm, I'll tell you, baby. It's hot. I can float like the wind. Duds. Mmm. Eat with two people on at the same time. Oh, yeah. I, I don't want to know that. So, when can I get the results? Can't do the chem test here, but I'll call a friend of mine. Owes me a favor. Come back later. Yeah, yeah, later. Much later. Sure. And hey, don't wait a week this time. Got it. We won't wait a week. You won't. So now, uh, let's try to get into that um, MIT tower. And uh, where we have to go is we have to go to the Metro Circle. And at the Metro Circle is um, a. Um, <coughs> is an elevator that we have to take. Well, let's go to the metro circle first. Where is it? That's of course it's here. And the elevator is right here, so let's go there. Let's try it. It's a police officer. I can't believe they wouldn't let me on the shuttle just because my clothes stink and I look like a bum. I mean, considering what I've been through in this outfit, I'm surprised I look as presentable as I do. So the problem is we need some clothes and there's a clothing store here. They got the coolest clothes in that store. The coolest and most expensive. I saved for months to buy a pair of socks there once. The coolest pair of socks I ever had. I guess we still have some money on our um, credit card. I could definitely do with a change of clothes. And so what if this store's way out of my league? After what I've been through, I deserve to splurge a little. I look good, I feel good. Thank God they had a thermal shower in there. I needed a proper disinfection and delousing. Okay, she always wears uh, these uh, belly-free clothes. I think that's just like a 90s uh, thing, I guess. Um, some trivia. Um, the company, actually, who made this game, 
they actually casted a, a German uh, model uh, to look like April Ryan and uh, they went uh, through all the news agencies with her and um, to promote to promote the game and we have a, a German uh, TV show which is cancelled now or it's like not a TV show but like a German channel called Giga TV which focused uh, mostly on games and computer stuff and I actually remember when I was <coughs> in my teens I was watching uh, the show once and I hadn't played this game yet and um, uh, she actually had uh, a gig at that show so she was dancing um, with like two male dancers so if you want to watch that uh, just type in like um, the longest journey uh, giga tv giga tv so giga like g i g a and you can actually see that so now we have some clothes and what else we need is uh, there's a pizza box in here and we're gonna um, disguise ourselves as like a pizza boy so we have to take that pizza box Great, so now we can enter the shuttle. direct me to the MTI building? Certainly. See that huge, massive, towering building over there? That's it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, ma'am. So it's MTI building. Sorry, I always said MIT building. So it's, uh, let's go to the right and let's go into the building. Where is it? Is it somewhere here? Shuttle station. I want to go to the building. Oh, to the street. There it is. I didn't know that it was an entrance. Wow. It's a faux Roman palace. How very Las Vegas. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's talk to the receptionist. Hi there, Jerry. Gerald, do you have an appointment? Okay. I'm visiting a friend of mine. Oh, really? Then your name would be in my appointment diary, yes? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have an appointment. You don't say. And do you really have a friend in the building? No. Then I suggest you turn around and walk out of here, miss. This is a private building. Thank you yeah. very much. We're gonna. Jerry. Not gonna uh, talk to the dialogue. <sighs> Gerald! And if you do not leave, miss, I will be forced to call the police. Yeah, but we are actually a pizza boy, so please let us in. Got a pizza delivery for Mr. McAllen. Really? There's been no. Wait a second. Weren't you in here before? Me? Nah. Uh, been been delivering pies to the uh, to Venice. I, I ain't been up here before. Nice hood, clean pavements, good air. I could have sworn. Oh, very well. Give me the pizza, and I will see to it that it's delivered to Mr. McAllen as soon as possible. No can do, guy. This has got to be delivered now before it gets cold. You know how Mr. McAllen gets when his mozzarella is cold. I can't very well leave my post, so... 
All right, all right. Step into the elevator and I will send you to Mr. McAllen's office. But I want you back down here pronto, do you understand? Awesome. So now we're going to McAllen's office. This is a creepy place. Let's look at the stuff. What is that? It looks... God, it looks human! I guess the Vanguard are growing these creatures for a purpose. Maybe soldiers? That's one war I'll do my best to prevent. I don't know what they're growing in these tanks, but whatever it is, it's disgusting and alive. That's an amazing view. I can see clear across the city. Papers. There's nothing here that... That's my... That's my name. And my address. Uh, obviously, there's... God, they've been tracking me, watching me. Uh-oh. Oh. You were the last person I'd expect to find here, Shifter. I've spent an obscene amount of money and resources tracking you down. Since before we knew your name. Before you even came to Newport. And then, you simply walk into my lap. Like a mouse into a great big trap. Looking for the cheese, I'd imagine. The Guardian. Well, he's not here, I'm sorry to say. He's being held elsewhere, awaiting your directions. You do have them, yes. The directions to the Guardian's realm. Um, so guys, I'm gonna end this part right here, and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.